great I am Ancient of days Your love remains Blessing and honor to the great I am The only name Worthy of praise Christine, it's such a pleasure to be with you. <laughs> Thank you. I love being here. <laughs> it's been so exciting to hear this new music you've been working on. And congratulations, by the way. Thank because you. Because it's an amazing album and so many great songs mm -hmm. on this album. But talk about this song from the beginning to the end. There's so many cool things about this song and, and what it speaks about. And like, I love that it's all about God. Mm -hmm. You know, this, there's no me in this song at all. It's all about giving glory yes. to Him. But talk a little bit about the song, just the inspiration behind it. Well, I got together with Bede Benjamin Corporal uh, here in the Nashville area, and we had Hannah Hobbs from Hillsong over Zoom. Oh, cool. I had two Aussies <laughs> giving me all of their amazingness. Um, and we were just talking about, I was telling them a little bit about where I was in my faith and my journey and you know, undergoing a process of therapy and counseling and mental health and just recovering from a whole bunch of wounds that have mm -hmm. come up in this season of life. Um, and it got us to thinking, we were in the middle of pandemic. Uh, a lot of people were still on lockdown, Australia inc included. Yeah. And we kept talking about hope. And we kept talking about how hope was so intertwined with God's faithfulness. And that's where our hope comes from. Mm. But also when we do profess hope or where we do ask God for hope, we have to be anchored on what he has already done because that's the good foreshadow of what we know he will do again. He's never failed and he never will. So he will be faithful as the alpha and he will continue in his faithfulness until the times of the omega come. Um, and that's where the song was born and we, we, we wanted it to be a declaration of God's faithfulness and an account to whoever heard it to know our security in Christ comes from what we know and where our faith is and what we will know. And also a reminder to ourselves when we're going through rough times that he is faithful from the beginning to the end. Like, he won't fail. And I love that this song is about that story of God from the beginning to the end. And it's, you know, we find ourselves somewhere in the timeline. Mm -hmm. um, but yet he's existed from before time and, of course, throughout all time. And, you know, along the, in that journey, there's a piece in that. Yep. And I, I think, like I, said, I think about churches, you know, singing to this, it's like, wow, like you start to feel like, you know, kind of like, you, you know, you think more about your story than you think about the bigger picture of what God is doing yeah. and what he has done and what he's going to do. And this allows you to pull back a little bit yes. and just see things a little bit more from a broader perspective. Mm -hmm. And I love how you you peppered in just like all these these names of God. There's so much power yes. in these names of God, ancient of days, mm -hmm. you know, and talk a little bit about that of just some of the language. I feel like it's got so much, um, there's so much power. And as you as you've seen that lyric, I think, I'm thinking about all these scriptures because I hear I see all these yeah. names of God coming out. I really loved how we were able to pull on that specific name of God. That's one of my favorites, the ancient of days. Because I do imagine God as like a big old papa that knows everything because he's actually been through everything, loving through everything from Adam all the way until the very last human that exists on this earth. Um, and to be able to say, ancient of days, your love remains. Mm. For us, it was tying in that beginning old and 
feeling to what's happening right now. In the new modern world, like his love still remains. Doesn't matter how seasons change. Doesn't matter how times change. Doesn't matter how our belief system changes. What remains true is that he loves us through it all. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's so good. <laughs> Well, Chris, walk us through what you're playing, man. What key are you doing this in today? Okay, this song's in the key of F. Um, we're going to call that the one chord here in Nashville with the Nashville number system. But one is F in this case. And the intro of this song is a hook that is a combination of sounds like a guitar, a vocal chop, a synthesizer, a piano, everybody kind of playing the same uh, motif. And uh, how it sounds just on piano is something like this. Starts on the four chord. does that a couple of times so you get the four chord B flat to the one F to the five just C and then to a D minor or six minor walk it back down so that that and the big synth layer playing up up high like that it's epic great after the intro the whole arrangement kind of comes down and gives all the focus to the vocal uh, and the chords for that are it starts on the four B flat and I'm not going to sing it for you, but you'll have to listen to the original <laughs> recording. It goes 4 1, and I think it does the same progression as the intro. Yeah, this is kind of give a different melody than the hook, but the same kind of color of chord progressions. Sometimes it sticks on the five. I think it does that every other time, holds that for two measures. So it's familiar territory, but a little different rhythmic. Okay, then we, when we get to the chorus, um, it's kind of a big low note. Bass man's gonna love this. It's an F. <laughs> it's almost the lowest note you can play. And it sits there for a measure and a half, and then it gives a five to the six minor for another measure and a half, then to the four. And it does that twice. And then with the vocal, it leads it right back to this hook. And then you get giant synth, giant guitar, and does that one time around, and then we're back into the verse again. Uh, a little more groove in the drums, I think, but it's the same kind of approach for that second verse and the second chorus. Then it goes into the bridge, and this, this is so much easier when someone's singing to remind <laughs> me, but it does go to... Uh, at its heart, this is a four chord, but I'm playing a one over top, which gives you a major seven vibe. And it helps you keep some notes into the second chord, which is a six minor. And then it goes to the one again. And we can do a five or a five over seven. So I get this kind of two chords at once thing that I'm gonna be doing today. It lets you sound a little bigger than if you're just playing the chords as written. And then it does that, well, that's not the right chord, but it does that a few times. The last time around, it changes it. And it, instead of going four to six, it goes four to one over three. Just a little like, hey, something new's coming. And then it hits a six minor, and then a big five, and then chorus. Chorus, like I said, on the four again. <laughs> so it walks us down, six, five, chorus. Well, Christine, thank you so much for sharing this song. We're so excited and thankful just to partner with you on these new songs. So thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. What a pleasure. You are